Uh, statins are typically the medication given to reduce the risk of heart disease uh, and deal with cholesterol. But the problem, of course, is that, um, as with any medication, there are side effects, and there are some pretty profoundly negative side effects with um, statins, but as with any medication over time. And so I think it's really important to understand that medications should be a short-term solution to a problem and not a long-term one because of those side effects. And we have to understand and appreciate that those side effects will affect other systems as well. So muscle pain and weakness uh, is a very, very typical side effect of statins. But that seems to come from CoQ10 depletion. And this compound CoQ10 supports muscle, muscle function. And one should, at the minute you're on statins, one should be told to consume then a supplemental form of CoQ10 or its more concentrated form, which is ubiquinol. So one of those two should be consumed if you are on statins because of this depletion that occurs. Peripheral neuropathy, so that's weakness, tingling, pain in the hands or the feet, can lead to difficulty walking. Low libido, uh, dizziness, that, that'll be from the low blood pressure and cognitive impairment. So I guess, you know, memory related issues. Cancer, every single study with statins and rodents result in cancer. Uh, pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas, uh, that may occur within uh, a few months on statins. And then uh, University of British Columbia did a study showing that statins offer absolutely no benefit to women for prevention of heart disease. So no study ever shows a, a significant decrease in mortality in females on statins. One would have to wonder why they are prescribed for females, given they show no benefit. I guess when you've got this information, you're in a much better position to decide whether you want to continue with statins or perhaps look at coming off them if you are on them, but maybe talk to your healthcare practitioner about it and see if you can come up with a plan for how to come off uh, these drugs. You, you'll have someone looking over your shoulder, which is great, so you're supported in that. Uh, it might be worth doing some more reading on it, a little bit of research for yourself so that you are, when you make that decision, it's an informed and educated decision. Um, but there's no doubt it's your decision. It's not something that you have to do. Uh, and I just always think it's worth considering the bigger picture and the impact long term on your health and uh, various other systems as well as the primary issue that you're trying to address.